Hi boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. My name is CK and my channel is Psychology where I bring you around the world to see and explore. Today's video is a bit a little bit different. I am at Woodlands MRT station here in Singapore and I'm just about to cross the border over to Johor. The Malaysia and Johor border crossing is what we call the Singapore Johor Causeway. The causeway opened in the 1920. It's one of the busiest international crossings in the world with daily average number of crossing can go up to 350 thousands use it daily. The causeway has only been closed twice, which is World War II because of the invasion from the Japanese and during the COVID pandemic. I saw many of my viewers asking, what is the best way to do the crossing? Is it by foot? Is it by bus? Today, I am going to take you there. For me, the best way to cross the border is actually by train. So today, I'm going to experience that. We're going to do the crossing by train, which will be my very first time. It's going to be an adventure. I have never covered a border crossing before. So let's go. Now, the first step to get train ticket is through KTM. They are the one who offer the service between Johor and Singapore. And the service is called the Thebrao Shuttle. There are two ways to get the tickets. One, you can download their apps, KTMB, and also on the website, which I prefer to do. And once you're on the website, go to the top third link that says Thebrao Shuttle and click on it. After that, pick on the direction you're traveling to between Johor Bahru Central and Woodland CIQ, including your travel dates, one way or return, and the number of packs. You will then be directed to the schedule of the train, which lists the time of each train departing from that location you picked. The first train usually departs 8.30 from Singapore, and the last train usually leaves about 11.45 p.m. Those are in the gold line or rolled means it tickets are still available and in the gray button is where you will find tickets are being sold out. Then you select the trains that you want to board on. I've listed out the ticket price for both ways online and if you were to get the ticket at the counter at JB Central or at Woodlands CIQ. Now again, I do not, do not advise you to get the tickets in the counter because the ticket might be sold out. And again, it is much easier to get your ticket online. Now, after you get your ticket, there is a few tip you must, must remember. First of all, you must arrive 30 minutes before departure. 30 minutes before departure. So plan your trip. The gate will close 10 minutes before departure because they need you to go through immigration, both sides of the country. So the gate will close 10 minutes before the departure. And of course, bring your travel documents. You can print your ticket once you get it from your email, but your passport is your ticket and they will take a picture of your passport as to check the ticket. You get 75% refund 72 hours before cancellation and 50% less than 72 hours. The cutoff time is four hours before departure time. Okay, now you have your ticket. You need now to go to Woodland Train Checkpoint. Here are the various buses you can take to reach Woodland Train Checkpoints from the major MRT station in Singapore. For this trip, I am taking the bus from Woodland MRT station. You go down one level and we're lining up waiting for the 856A or 856 bus to the Woodland Train checkpoint. And here comes the bus. So far so good and pretty easy, right? The bus journey will take about 15 minutes from the MRT station to now the Woodland Train checkpoint. I won't be able to film all the way inside though because cameras are not allowed. 
but I will walk you through the checkpoint and now I tell you why I think the train is the best way to go to Johor Bahru Central. The number one reason is that the train has their own immigration counter so you actually cleared two countries immigration in one go from your departing point and because they have their own immigration line and counter you don't have to compete with the public when it comes to lining up and going through immigration the train will always wait for the last person to clear immigration before departing now here is where they will take your pictures for the ticket checking and once you pass that ticket checking it's just off to the train you go now this is my first time taking the Tabrao shuttle and I must say the train is actually quite quite comfortable now the great thing about riding the train is you are not in the mercy of the traffic which can be very heavy particularly during long weekends weekends I mean whatever it is the causeway is 24 7 unpredictable with the traffic going back and forth Malaysia and Singapore but by riding the train the whole journey takes just five five minutes yes just five minutes and with our own train tracks you can just relax and enjoy your journey all the way to Malaysia Malaysia here I come So there you go, we made it across Malaysia and that's actually how easy it is uh, to cross the causeway. It is the long weekend here in both sides of Malaysia and Singapore but we crossed it in like, like no time, like 20 minutes. So that's it, that's my video and that is the best way, really, seriously. I've. I've asked everyone and that is the best way you can go across the causeway and especially now we're in the high season of traveling it took me really less than a half an hour to clear everything and hopefully with this video you will get you will know now the best way to get across the causeway thank you for watching please subscribe and like and share and I will see you in my next video. Welcome to Malaysia! Bye from the Malaysia side of the causeway. Bye!